Do you want to know where all of the journals are for all of the new Siren Shrines? Well, this video is for you. Hi, my name is HippoTC. Welcome back to another Sea of Thieves guide video. This time we are tackling season four and showing you where all of the journal locations are in each of the shrines. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below and smash that subscribe button. I also stream live content over on Twitch every single week, and you can find my schedule in the description below. Would love to have you stop by and say hi. Now, let's show you where all the journals are step by step. Now, this guide video is going to be a little bit different than most guide videos. I'm actually going to show more of these shrines than I think most people are going to do. The reason for this is it is really difficult or can be very difficult to find all of these journals. So I'm just going to try to show you as much of the shrine as possible. And so if you get lost, you can kind of see how I got to each location. I also have the table of contents for the video to kind of help you find out where to go in the video as well. The first shrine we are going to go to is the Shrine of Hungering. Now, once you get to the location, you're going to jump off your ship and start swimming down to the shrine. Now, I'm not going to show the whole swim down as it does take a little bit of time. But once you do get down there, you're going to be looking for this cave entrance or this kind of like teeth and all of this stuff. This is going to be the entrance to the shrine. Now, as you swim through very quickly, you're going to find the first journal for this shrine, and it's going to be in the hands of a skeleton. And I'm going to show you where that location is. So right here on the bottom of the cave entrance is the first journal or journal number one. After reading through the journal completely, you're going to want to keep swimming down this cave. Now this shrine might be one of my favorite shrines as it is all about hungering and like the shark and things like that. So when we first did this shrine, you in get into this next area, there's a bunch of sharks in here and you're gonna fight some sharks. So make sure you have some food with you to make this a little bit easier. Now, if you've done the new tall tales, this is going to look really familiar to you. There's three statues. You have to move the arms by shooting them into the correct position depicted on the mural. And then once you're done, you shoot the siren with the horn. Once you've completed this first puzzle, it's going to raise the water level and you're going to be able to access the next area. Now, once the water level raises, you're going to come over here to this uh, jet that shoots you up. You're going to stand on it and it's going to launch you to the next platform. Once you land to the next platform, this is actually the location of the next journal and you have more statues that you need to adjust. But the next journal, journal number two, is going to be in this rowboat You can find it here. After reading that journal completely, grab some ammo. And as you can see here, you have to do more statues and position the arms in the right spot. So just go around to each statue depicted with chains, the coral or the stone, move the arms in the correct position, and then just shoot the siren with the horn. This will cause the water level to raise up some more and you'll be able to access the next area. Once the level has raised up, you're gonna just kind of follow this natural path that they've made here. You might have some skeleton spawns. We've had that happen. You're just gonna do a little bit of a fight, no big deal.
once they've all been killed continue to follow your pathway up here and you're going to find the next journal the next journal is going to be right here next to these wooden planks this is journal number three Now, once you found journal number three, journal number four is very close. You're just going to jump across the pathway here. More skeletons will spawn. You'll kill them really quickly. And then I will show you where journal number four is. Once you've killed the skeletons, you're going to make your way across here. And the fourth journal is right at the feet of the statue here. Once you've read that completely, you're going to make your way back and you're going to move through this um, giant jaw, shark jaw that we have here. Now the last journal is at the end of this portal. So you're going to make your way through here, open up the next uh, kind of gateway by shooting this guy. And then the fifth journal and the last journal for this shrine is located right here. The next shrine that we're going to go to is the shrine of the flooded embrace now this shrine is really easy to find all these journals so this will actually be the probably the fastest one that you'll do just like the others you're going to go to the location on the map where it's located and you're going to swim down to the entrance now on the top of the shrine you're going to see the bottom of the ship like this you're going to make your way through this open a door and the first journal is going to be located right here after reading that journal you're going to turn around and you're going to make your way to the next journal so just follow this path here you may have to kill some sirens along the way it does they do spawn here so make sure you have some ammo and some food always a good thing to do anyways after killing any sirens that get in your way and finding the first journal the next journal is going to be located right here you're going to swim through this hole and you're going to go to the left and you'll see a brig door that you're going to open you're going to swim through that to your right you'll find the next journal After reading that journal, the third journal is very close. You're just going to exit the brig, swim down. Once you see this kind of bubble area or this safe area, you're going to shoot that, open up this area, go through it, and the journal will be right there to your left. The fourth journal is pretty easy to find as well. You're just going to leave this area, swim directly down, and you're going to find it on the top of a hull of a ship or the upside down hull of the ship. After reading the fourth journal, the fifth and the final journal can be found at the bottom of this shrine next to some very bright blue coral and I'll show you where that is and there you go that is the location of all of these journals this will complete this shrine The next shrine that we're going to go to is the Shrine of Ancient Tears. 
just like the other shrines you're going to set sail to this location and once you get there you're going to jump off your ship and swim down to this uh this siren shrine now this location took me a bit to find uh or at least the entrance so swimming down you're going to kind of see this sunken ship and you're going to see one of those things to shoot that kind of open up this force field you're going to shoot that and you're going to swim right through Now this shrine is a little bit complicated with all of the puzzles within it. So I'm just going to kind of let it play like I've been doing so you can kind of see each area, but I'm gonna to try to explain kind of how to get to them. Now, when I did this, I did the journals out of order. So hopefully that doesn't confuse you, but the first journal is going to be located in this main room that you first kind of enter into. I'm gonna call this again, the main room. So you're just gonna fall down here. You're gonna run all the way down. And then next to what looks like a, like a ta like a sacrifice table, you're going to find the first journal. After reading this journal, number two is going to be a bit of, this is probably one of my favorite journals to get because it's just, you jump off and you have some fun with it. But anyways, you're going to make your way up here, climb up this ladder and just kind of follow the path until you get uh, to a lever. Now at this point, you're gonna see a lever and as you can see on um, painted on the ground is letting you know you're going to jump off this little ledge. So we're gonna pull this ladder, it's gonna activate the next area and you're just gonna make your way by just jumping off. Now this is the location of the next journal. I'm gonna show you where that is. This is journal number two. After reading that journal to open the door to kind of make your way back up to the main room all you have to do is light these beacons and you'll make your way back up to the main room Now the next journal we're going to get is actually journal number five. You're going to access this journal by stepping on these platforms, making sure that they are all kind of stepped on. They are time locked, so they will reset if you don't do it fast enough, but it's pretty easy. Just run around, step on all of them, and it's going to open the, uh, the next door. Once you walk into this newly opened room or the throne room, you're going to find the journal on top of a barrel. Once you've read the journal, the next step that you have to do is actually light all of these beacons that you kind of see around. So take your lantern, go around light all of these beacons and actually when i was doing this i missed two so you're going to see the two that i missed I actually just walked right past them right there so uh you're just going to make your way around the room light all these beacons and it's going to open the next door
as you can see i am kind of confused the door should have opened but i was missing two beacons back in that throne room so i run back up there to see if i was missing anything Now that is all of the beacons that you need to light. So once you do that, the door will open and this will actually take you to the next journal location. And this is journal number four. You'll walk into this area right here and right on the other side of this pillar is journal number four. Now, to get to the next area, if you kind of look around this room, you see symbols above each of these pillars and you see five or sorry, four fire markers above this door. Basically, that's just letting you know you need to light all of the beacons in this area to open the next uh, or to open that door. So the journal number three, the last journal for this shrine, you actually have to kind of do all of this to get there and uh, I'm gonna show you kind of how to do that. So you have three levers, you have to light the beacons. Once you open the three levers, it opens the door letting you make your way through. If you do all of these, uh, if you do all of these levers and you do the full path and you light all of the animals and put all the beacons on fire, it'll actually open a door with an ancient chest of tribute. So you can do that to get some cool loot. In this case, we're just gonna focus on the uh, on the journals. So I'm just gonna show you where the next journal or the last journal is. And it's located uh, in this room, which is the turtle room. And it'll be right here on the right on the ground. And this completes uh, this shrine's journals. The next shrine we're going to go to is the Shrine of Tribute. Just like the others, you're going to sail to this location. Once you get there, park your ship and start swimming. Swimming down to the shrine, the kind of entrance to the shrine, you're going to look for these stairs. Once you find these stairs, you're going to make your way through them. In this case, we had a ton of sirens spawn on us. This can happen. Just have some food, but you don't need to fight them. You can actually outswim them. Just swim right to the entrance and sail all the way through. Now, the first journal is going to be located right at the bottom of this kind of first room that you swim to. It's going to be located right here on this rock. Just like the previous shrine, I'm going to kind of show you these journals out of order. Uh, this is just the way that I found them. Um, but in this case, we're going to go find journal number three. And yes, there are more puzzles. So make sure you keep a note of this. I'm going to show you where these uh, statues are. So it makes it a little bit easier for you. Uh, I found this shrine to be one of the harder shrines to find uh, all the journals. So hopefully this helps. Uh, anyways, journal number three, you're going to make your way through here. And you're going to find it right here on the left side of this tunnel area. Now, something that was funny about this particular shrine is there's actually another crew that we ran into down here and they were pretty cool. And instead of attacking, we kind of became friends without using words. And I showed them where all the journals were. So I kind of became their journal Sherpa, but that was journal number three. We're gonna keep swimming and I'm gonna show you where journal number two is. So before you go into the main room that I just passed, you're going to swim this direction and find the second journal. Now, 
and you can find it right here on the bottom of this uh, of this tunnel here. After you've read journal one, two, and three, you're gonna wanna make sure that all of the statues are in the correct position. So one of the statues is located right here. And that statue needs to be all the way up. It is, so that's perfect. We're going to swim Keep going around and we'll go to the main kind of the main room that has the other statues so here is chain it does look like it is in the proper location and we need to find the last statue and make sure it is because as you just heard someone tried to kind of activate the uh the next spot and it didn't quite work that's because one of the statues is in the wrong position so i believe it's coral and coral is located right here Once all the statues are in the correct position, their arms are in the correct position, you're going to go shoot or hit the statue with the horn, and this will activate the next part, which will raise the water level in this main room, getting you access to the next journal. Once the water level is raised, you're gonna make your way through this kind of stairway. And I'm gonna show you the next location for the journal, but first let's open the door to the next area in the fifth and final journal. So we're gonna step on that little, uh, little switch there. This one has already been stepped on. And the last switch that you need to step on is gonna be located right here on this platform. Once you do that, it's also the location of the fourth journal. We're gonna read this journal. And then as you can see here, the statue in the main room kind of moved backwards. And so we're going to jump down into this pool. And well, first we're gonna to need to kill the siren that kind of came out. But once we kill the siren, the statue moves backwards. It's gonna give you the ability to swim down and go through and get to the fifth and the final journal for this shrine, which should complete it for you. And it's located right here on the table. The next shrine that I'm going to show you is the Shrine of Ocean's Fortune. And this one is a lot of fun. There's a lot of pulleys and puzzles in this one. So again, I'm going to show you kind of it in its entirety. You can definitely fast forward if you want to skip along, but I want to show you how I get where I go so that you don't get lost because these can be kind of confusing. Once you get to the location, you're going to jump off your ship, swim down, and I'm going to show you the entrance to this shrine. Once you make your way in, the first journal is actually going to be right to your right side, right on the other side of this kind of rock area. So I'm gonna show you where that's at. And it's located right here. After reading that journal, you're gonna make your way through some puzzles, and I'm just gonna kind of let this play out as it does, but uh, the next journals are kind of a little further along the way, so just kind of watch what I'm doing here so you don't get lost and confused, but 
these puzzles were super fun i really enjoyed this shrine this was probably the most unique one as it had a lot of the puzzles and pulleys and things like that but you're gonna make your way up here you're gonna need to get to the other side of this gate pretty simple you're just gonna go over to this pulley you're gonna move a platform giving you the ability to kind of move up by jumping along the way Once you've moved this platform, you're going to jump across and go left. And there's actually a journal here. So you're going to go open this gate just to make it a little bit easier. If somebody falls down, pull this lever and the journal will be right here on your left. After reading that journal, you're going to make your way to the next area by raising this anchor. Once it's raised, you're going to jump across these platforms and make your way to the next pulley system that is going to bring down a mass so that you can jump across. Now to get to the next part, you're gonna actually have to like backtrack a little bit. So you're gonna jump on these platforms, jump all the way down and make your way up through to this ladder, giving you the ability to jump across to the next area. Now the third journal is actually located right here on the left. So don't forget this one. After reading that journal, you're going to continue your way up. And this next puzzle, you're going to just need to have everyone jump on the platform. You're going to drop the anchor and it's going to kind of rotate you around and you'll just need to kind of jump from platform to platform to get to the next spot. Once you've made your way completely across and your whole crew is with you, you're going to continue your path up to the next area. Now, journal number four is going to be in this next room. It's actually located as soon as you walk in to your left on some ship wreckage. But as soon as you do walk into this area, you're going to get into a little bit of a fight. So just go ahead and fight these scurvy dogs. As you can see, uh, they can be random spawns. So skeletons and ocean crawlers. Uh, Stray, and when we were doing this, this man is an absolute violent man. And he sword lunged at one of the big ocean crawlers and was standing in his body like some violent man absolute legend this dude but this was good always if you need a man to do a shrine with stray is the guy anyways the next journal is right here on the shipwreck this is journal number four after reading this you're going to make your way up 
through the next part of the shrine getting to the last journal but you do have one more puzzle that you're gonna have to solve before you get there You're going to get to this last room. Once you enter this room, it is going to spawn some enemies, but you actually don't need to fight them. You can just kind of run right past them, make your way up. And the last journal is going to be past these clues or these puzzles. So you got to complete this next puzzle, getting you to the last journal. This was actually one of the more unique puzzles and I thought it was pretty cool. Great usage from Rare, kind of how they did this. I really liked it a lot. So uh, definitely enjoy it. Something you shouldn't forget about is enjoying these scenes. I spent a long time in these shrines, kind of just appreciating and seeing all the awesome things that they made in this area. So I know I'm kind of showing you the fast way to get all the journals, but definitely take some time, explore, get treasure. Like I said in previous videos, you can use all of this treasure, use the mermaid systems to get these treasures that are all located all around. But in this case, I just wanted to show you the journal location. So I'm just trying to do that for you. Now, the last and final journal is going to be right here near the top. So we have one more jump we have to make, and then I will show you where that is. The last journal is going to be located right here in the hull wreckage of the ship. And this will complete this shrine's uh, journals. The last shrine that we are going to cover is the last shrine that you need to do. And that is the shrine of the coral tomb. Find it on your map. Once you find it, park your ship, jump off and swim down to this shrine. Eventually, you're going to kind of drop into the main room that is the shrine where you're going to be doing all of the puzzle solving and finding all of the journals. The first journal is going to be found at the very bottom of, uh, of this like pool area. After reading journal number one, you're going to need to start solving the puzzles and I'm going to show you how to do that. Now on the wall, you're going to see uh, some paintings that's going to depict the order in which you need to pull the levers. You can see it right here. So it goes stone, coral, chain. Now there's three levels and there's multiple stages to this puzzle, but they all involve levers. So you're just going to have to find them. Here is the first part. So here is the stone lever. My mate Stray Chris is going to pour, uh, pull the coral lever, and that is right here. And the chain lever is located right here. Okay. 
after each completions to these puzzles and you've pulled all the levers in the correct uh in the correct order the water is going to rise or a door will open so in this case a door is going to open sirens are going to come out you're going to do a little bit of fighting and then you're going to do the next uh the next cycle of the puzzle so in this case you're going to find the next kind of area and it'll lead you to your next journal so we're going to find more levers to pull now here's journal located, uh, sorry, journal number two. And then this is the first lever that you need to pull. So the stones, so we're gonna pull that. We're gonna jump back into the main room and we're going to swim, uh, swim through this red cave located here. Something that really helped me with this shrine is a really cool design that uh, Rare did is they kind of highlighted the groups of the levers by the color of the coral. So I'm looking for the red coral. And in this case, it's gonna take me to the next, uh, next lever. So here's the coral. And then the last one I need to pull is the chain and that's located back in the main room. Just like the first one, more doors are going to open and more sirens are going to appear. So you're going to need to kill them and then you'll get to the next puzzle that you'll need to solve. Once you've completed that, once you've killed the sirens, you're going to swim back down and a new pathway has opened. You're going to look for this bright red coral now and swim towards, uh, towards this lever, which is the stone. Swim back into the main room. And you're going to swim now all the way across. And underneath the water is the third journal and uh, the next lever that you need to pull. So right here on the right side on the ground is the third journal. And here is the coral lever. And the last lever for this is located back in the main room. Now, after you pull the final lever in this shrine, this time it's actually going to raise the water level getting you to the next uh the next journal journal number four and access to journal number five once the water has completely raised you're going to look for this teal color uh coral this will be journal number four located right in front of this huge skeleton or skull wall but um you know there it is now the last journal journal number five is back in the main room you're going to find this kind of wood platform to get uh to climb up and it's located right here And there you go. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, man, I would really appreciate a subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I could really use your help. Thank you again for watching, and I hope to see you guys next time.